With Proflow, you can use the asset from the scene directly with the add-on. That means I will select this one, I will click here, and it will be used at custom asset. Now I will select this, I will press edges to extract some edges like that, and I will validate. As you can see, I will have this result and I can edit it. That means I can choose the y-axis, I can scale it, let's see, like that. I can play with this, Up. scale it, make a rotation like that, etc, etc. So it's really up to you. You can do whatever you want. You will have the proper results like that. But on this one, in fact, if I come back and if I come here, as you can see, uh, the object is deformed because I need to use the plane instance. That means if I restart, I will select the object. I will activate the plane instance. I will do the same, control R, like that, validate. Let's scale it, choose the Y axis. I will just change this up like that. Let's make a little rotation. Let's make a scale and that's it. So now if uh, I would press D, I come here. As you can see, this is not deformed because I'm using a plane instance. So because of this, you will have the result you want all the time. So this is nice. So let's remove this one. But it's better to uh, set up your object directly. Uh, I will click here. I will choose the axis, the Y. I will choose the distance, let's see, 5. I want to use a plain instance, and once everything is OK, I will click on OK. That means now this object, uh, even if I un uncheck this one, this object will use a plain instance and will have the proper uh, direction. I will do this, Control R, like that, space. I can press F to flip the curve, and that's it. I will have exactly what I wanted. So as you can see, this is nice. And if I edit it, it's okay because I'm using a plain instance. Like that. This is as simple as that. And here you have the instance object, so you can hide it.